Just talking? Well, what's the show about? About nothing. The Legends, The Cure, their, <laughs> their bassist decided to uh, call it quits. Um, Simon Gallup hmm. decided to call it quits after so many years. He, I believe he is, uh, I believe the original bassist. He yeah. did quit for a stint in the 80s, 82 to 84, and then Robert Smith reeled him back in, yep. and then they went on to make all their hits. Okay. Um, and then recently said that uh, he's just, I guess, fed up with whatever drama's going on in the band. There's yeah. drama going on in the band? I mean. Sure. I wonder what they have drama over. They're older. That's they haven't weird. worked this We're, shit out. Whoever wears the most makeup, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> My hair can't be bigger than Robert's. That's what they're, <laughs> that's what they're arguing about. Like, who Stolen stole makeup? Stolen makeup. Uh, stole the eyeliner. Oh. Yeah. Like, nah, this is my foundation, dog. Maybe one of them was trying to get like a, a makeup deal. Like they're trying to be like like Kylie Jenner's. Whoa. Like, new. Oh. Whoa. Dude, Robert Smith could totally have done that. Like the yeah. freaking the eyeliner thing. Yeah, he could have mm. done that. He could have had his own makeup line. Yeah, for sure. Because if you think about it, who, someone did come it. out with something, dude. I don't know if it was Billy Joe Armstrong or Ooh. Davey Havoc, but I'm leaning Billy Joe. I, wasn't it Davey Havoc? Well, he was part of something. He was part of that Glitter Boy thing oh, way back then. Oh, yeah, Glitter Boy, yeah. Was... But it was more clothing. But, yeah, I, right, dude, right. I think it's Billy Joe Armstrong. Maybe. I can see that. Yep, I think yeah. he partnered up with he just had like a Cat collab. Bundy, and they did, uh, yeah, they did an oh. eyeliner. Oh. That's black. But Robert Smith, man, I mean, <laughs> come on. This is like, it sounds, dude, these, his marketing team is not fucking, I think no, they're, they're missing something. When he's... When he was in his heyday, though, I don't know that the makeup lines were that acceptable for no, men. No, no, not you know? back then. Not at all, but yeah. he's, like, the god of it, you know? Yeah. Like, I mean, he's he been doing it for so long. They he, came up with, like, a god line. He, he could have parked. goth line. Oh. Oh. Goth god? God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> god. <laughs> Sounds like you got a lisp. <laughs> exactly. Make everyone sound stupid. People love it. People that we're all saying Google now. People <laughs> love it anyways. Fuck we only it. sell this in Barcelona. Yeah. <laughs> In Budapest. <laughs> but no, seriously, he could have partnered with somebody. Yeah, like, yeah, if he would have partnered though. with like a Davey Havoc or yeah, somebody like that. That would have been perfect. That would have been yeah. cool, dude. It would have. Yeah. yeah. It's a little late now. Yeah. But now uh, that they're all feuding yeah, over and makeup. Then you don't want him on the face of that. Oh, God. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> hey, I love the cure. You know, oh, they're like, why are all the photos like far away? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, why is he like, I can't see the, the makeup. camera. Yeah, exactly. It's a makeup ad. And it's just like fucking the frame is like really just on his eye. Like that's Dude, it. No. Then it flashes to a picture of him in the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he looks good in the 80s yeah. for sure. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Dude. dude, that's that's rad. Damn. But I was thinking, um, what are they going to do? I mean, who who replaces uh, at this stage in their, their career? Like, do do they replace him? They need someone like with notable, a name. Right? Yeah, yeah. Notable. Yeah. yeah. So, to replace him. Right, like but an ex-member like, of The Clash or uh, oh, yeah. someone, you yeah. know, I don't know. I'm just throwing shit like out. Flea or somebody. Yeah. Someone, yeah. <laughs> like sure Flea or somebody. Or somebody. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, they would probably would have something someone like that, a sub. They would need yeah. somebody, somebody with a name. Yeah, they probably wouldn't be a permanent band member, but it would be like a yeah. a famous sub. Kind of like John Stamos filling in for the Beach Boys. You guys ever hear that? No, I did not. No. What? what? Okay, look, don't, don't, um, <laughs> don't quote me because I was on the don't phone with a friend. This. <laughs> and um i told him i told him the same story i was like john stamos was filling in for the beach boys which i know is true but for some reason when my friend researched it and googled it he was like hey man he's up up and up in the band like <laughs> wikipedia and i was like what the fuck like that's it's impossible like i've i've known <laughs> about this <laughs> for, for years you know like not even dude <laughs> what i think is he can't be credited Oh, oh, maybe he filled in for live gigs. Is that what it was? Or? Live gigs for sure. Oh, okay. for sure. He would show up to live gigs, play with them live. So I don't think he's a recording member, mm. but just a live gig member for sure, dude. Because if you think about it, I don't think they've dropped an album in God knows how many years, man. I, I don't just, follow him like that, but they I mean, just released yeah, like a remix. It, it, no, there's okay. articles of him. Yeah, see, it, yeah. So, ah. so, dude, I was like, because that's like that's always John, been a cool Stamos thing to me. Stamos has occasionally performed with the Beach Boys. Dating back to the to 1985. There you Holy go. Holy crap! To yeah, recent, dude. to current this year too. See, dude, he's been like a fucking touring musician with them, dude. Is yeah. he like? Is he an honorary Beach Boy then? Like, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Since okay. 85. Yeah, I'm sure he's like. Dude, I mean, it's like you know, they're all like those fucking pimps, you know, like love making, <laughs> yeah, 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 baby yeah. making. Hey, I recently just uh 
I think I was telling, I don't know if we were talking, we talked about so much crap off of Mike, but um, how I was recently getting into albums I haven't, I've always heard about, yeah. but never actually listened to. Oh, okay. okay. So yeah, like, yeah. Uh, I was listening to the, uh, what is it, the Pet Sound? Is that what the, uh, the, uh, the, the Beach Boys album is? I don't, one. I don't remember. I don't know. I'm a horrible Beach Boy fan. Fact show me, fact, fact show me. Pet Sounds, yeah. Yeah, Pet Sounds, there Ooh, we go. Pet Sounds. Look at that. Smiley, smiley. Smiley, smiley. Mm. Or smiley, smile. Okay. But uh, yeah, I, I went back and uh, listened to them. I was like, dang, like these are like, I can see why like they're the, like a yep. classic. Yeah, yeah, dude. Hits, man. That freaking twang. That Love beach, making the bangers. Surf, surf mm. sound. Yeah. Dude, Surfing USA was super dope when I was young, man. I remember it was. Surfing USA. Yeah, it just seems so cool. That fucking like that quartet sound thing that they do too, yeah. you know, like the harmonizing with each yeah. other. Just so cool, dude. Listening to it, I thought, how could this be timeless or it is timeless you know to me i'm thinking yeah that. i'm thinking god i know it's like it's old these are fucking recorded way back then and then that idea of doing the quartet sound mm. you know and harmonizing with each other it doesn't seem as cool as it would be but they make they it make fucking it cool. cool and sexy it's you that know, slim, sensual that simplicity of it that just kind of like has made it so you know iconic yeah, yeah. bermuda <laughs> Like what? <laughs> this is ridiculous. That's the dude. only reason why I wear those shorts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Oh, uh, Tommy Bahama shirt. I got one coming in. Ooh. I got damn. You're dadding out. I am total dad. Wow. Jorts and a Tommy Bahama shirt. That's it. Cargos dude. and Tommy Bahama shirt. <laughs> yeah, two socks. <laughs> Quick, dude. With oh. sandals on. And some New Balances. Yo. Yep. Damn, dude, the dad package. Saying that reminded me, uh, <laughs> we were at Costco the other day, and we were looking at some of the stuff they had, and okay. Nessa was like, oh, I was like, she's like, oh, look at it, they have this product and this product, the products that she buys, and she's like, man, Costco is coming up, and I looked at her, I was like, no, nah, babe, I was like, we're just that age that we're, the stuff we buy is in Costco now. Yeah, yeah, you got the Costco <laughs> outfits. Well, they got my vitamins here. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, and look at these toothpicks. Jesus Christ, Mo, look at Mo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Four pack. It's a four pack. <laughs> Put it down, Robert. <laughs> but I was like, nope. I was like, we're just finally at the age. We're like, what well, we buy or what we want to buy is at Costco now. That's true. You man. come to that certain point where you're like, yeah, I can. I don't really care about you know. Like I was telling, oh, I was telling a youth. I think this weekend. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I don't buy a hundred dollar pairs of jeans anymore. Like, <laughs> no. oh, can, I got two pairs of jeans and they're good and. If not, I'm going to Target and get some shirts yeah. or some yeah. shit, you know? <laughs> or get now Amazon. Rang- I'm getting some Wranglers. Yeah, yeah. dude. Amazon. Yep. That's what yep. I'm been checking out. But, dude, uh, you can't go wrong. Mm-mm. Yeah, there is some cool shit on Amazon. Yeah. Well, maybe the, uh, the Essentials. The, the Cure can find their new basis on Amazon. They can Amazon we Prime them. I know. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I'm trying to get off topic that far. Yeah. <laughs> nobody called. Nobody, nobody called Tangent. <laughs> yes. I should all be ashamed of ourselves. Reel it back in. Yeah, Check out full episodes of the Strange Noise podcast on Spotify. Episodes also available on your favorite podcast platform.